So Mortician had a, a wonderful outing at BattleBots Destructathon, and uh, of course we got a little bit of damage along the way. And we are heading into RoboGames coming up. So um, I hadn't really touched this robot since then, and so we got we to gotta look at trying to, to get this thing back to combat shape for RoboGames coming up in April. So first thing we have to do is disassemble it. So um, it comes apart relatively quickly and easily, um, but you know I've got to take everything out because we're going to have to do some repairs to the frame. And taking it all apart, we, we, we did have a few things that were damaged that are going to have to be addressed beyond the actual frame damage. Um, so there was some, some electronic stuff that didn't hold in quite as well as I would like. There were some armor panels that are uh, um, a little misaligned that I'm going to have to work with. Uh, but my biggest concern all along has been um, the fact that it just takes a little longer to spin up than I would like. And so we're going to have a future video on working on some changes there to try to get a little more power to the weapon. First thing, though, is I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to decide what I'm doing with this frame. So, if you look at some of the damage this had, it got some pretty big hunks taken out of it. Um, and some very quick and amateurish repairs at the event just to get it through one more match. So, the reality at this stage, as the more I look at this, I may not reuse this frame at all. I'll probably not try to fix it, and I'll probably rebuild it from scratch. Um, so I'll have to rebend some new tubes, I'll have to make some new pin plates, I'll have to do all of this new. But I like the basic layout of it. So what I'm planning on doing is the armor panels are still cut to size, um, and everything there is actually in reasonable shape. So what I think I'm going to do is just make a new frame and make it around the armor panels that we used before because it's titanium and I can reuse all of that stuff. So as far as changes to this or upgrades go, there are a few things I do want to address. So um, the pins, the, the plates for this are a little thinner than I would like. Um, we actually damaged one last year at RoboGames and I replaced it with a slightly thicker one. So I started out with three sixteenths and moved up to a quarter inch for the bottom one because it sees a higher uh, stress load. Digging through the material here, I think I have some three eighths inch material. I may actually make those quite a bit thicker just so I don't have a problem with it anymore. And it would be a minor increase in weight, so I'm planning on doing that. Um, where the, the, the drive motors mount, we, we snapped off um, a few of the, the, the bolt arrangements that I had there. There's some, some changes there that I may, I may need to do. And what I did with the heavyweight, instead of, I still have the two shock mounts here. Here I've got a single pinning bolt. I, I, may, I may double that. I may put two pinning bolts there to have a little extra support there. And that, that would be a, a fairly big increase in strength for not a lot of weight. So that's probably worthwhile. As far as the construction of the frame goes, the rest of it I was actually pretty happy with. So um, at this stage, I just need to get busy and start cutting and welding some steel. Um, Robo Games is uh, going to be uh, April in uh, the San Jose Convention Center. Um, so it's a new venue. Uh, it's a much bigger building than where they've been before. And I'm looking forward. It should be a lot of fun. So Mortician will certainly return. Um, we're planning on a heavyweight. I haven't dived into that one too much yet, but we will be bringing a heavyweight of some sort. Probably a little more serious than what I did last time. Um, we'll definitely be there, so if you, uh, you want to come watch any of this going on, RoboGames in April. There'll be a link below. Um, if you like what we're doing on the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe, and we're going to have more content as we start and get everything ready for this event.